Kaha House is this wonderful thing that a few years ago was born out of a conversation we had with our residents around what does it mean to, to have a rainbow, to, to be a rainbow friendly university. Uh, and one of the, the gaps that was identified is the unique experiences that our queer residents have when they come here to university. Um, and that the final structure that our house already offers, uh, how that could be further used to support students going through a similar experience. Uh, and the uh, various iterations of it have happened and we arrived at this year um, Kaha House as we know. Um, Kaha House to me, well the name in itself means Kaha to be strong. Um, it means a lot of things in the fact that it's pride to like showing us that we can be ourselves through whatever we want and however we want. We can dress the way we want, we can wear our hair with however we want. Like it's all about self and being authentic and true to yourself. Um, especially coming from a small town, I've never got to have these experiences and meet these beautiful types of people. I love this place and I've loved every single moment. Talking to a lot of people on this floor don't necessarily have the greatest relationships with their family. So they come here and they find people and they're like, oh, these are people that I can actually be comfortable with and people that care about me. I think Ben Kaha um, has really made me respect the essence of like what it means to be in a whanau. Like that's just the way it is, it's whanau. Like everyone, it's just there for each other and I think that's what's really special. It has been amazing, to be honest with you. And obviously there were like the challenges you would expect as an RA and that's no different. But um, I think Kaha holds a very special place in my heart because I am a queen person and I get to kind of be that older sibling or parental figure for these kids that get to kind of come away from home um, for the first time and they get to explore relationships um, and they get to explore how they identify and how they dress and it's very humbling to be able to kind of be there um, as they go through that journey and kind of be that support figure. The leading car has been thrilling, at times scary, um, but ultimately very rewarding. Kaha is special because it's a space that is very genuinely made for everyone. Um, and I think it should continue despite whatever hardships that are considered because it offers so much to the people who are part of it um, and to the people who get added into it. Um, you know, there are residents who have joined on that are part of Kaha but very much are part of the family. We showed that a bunch of kids who usually are the outcasts and quiet ones and definitely not like your stock standard like hero archetype but there's people who can put in the mahi and <laughs> really come out on top. I had my own residence about Kaha, um, about what it could be and where it could go wrong and ultimately I am so happy with that. Um, it felt so vast and different from my first year. And I think it's so important to have that space made because when you live somewhere for the first time that isn't home, you do get to have those conversations and questions. But knowing that this is a space that is even more so oriented towards that particular side of your identity is so helpful, um, so supportive, and very necessary. It's not so much, you know, classroom rainbows for every floor, because that's not what they're after. They are just after that sense of safety. And I think having a clear look at the floor, in some sense, or in some kind of form of that, is genuinely very essential and very helpful to be able to call yourself an accepting and <laughs> supportive university. Um, my wheel for other universities is to look into this space and it has been this amazing, amazing um, prototype, should we call it, this year and I look forward to it becoming a permanent part of our club of here in Paul's Reasons and I really, really encourage every other university to look into this space because um, yeah, it's been really awesome for our halls.